What's going on YouTube? This is Mason AJ. <laughs> Anyway, we're here to talk about this week's episode of The Flash, our reaction review. And I just want to say, as always, I love Captain Cold. He is my favorite character in the show. Yeah, he can, makes can, the show for me. Can we not make this like the Captain Cold show and we talk about actual Um, because con considering the fact that he was the pretty much the major contender of the show. I mean, honestly, he kind of wasn't though. Whoa, like, how, how was like, he not? Okay, name one other significant thing that happened that wasn't Captain Cold related. Uh, hashtag Cisco and Golden Glider. Uh, I ride that ship. Like that's, oh, you know what? that's a sex I ain't gonna lie, that's one of the sexiest See, relationships and, 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 in all of them. And you know, you, you know what I like about it? The relationship 100 percent doesn't feel forced or It doesn't. It feels natural because I feel like a chick like her would actually go for Cisco. Right, and especially and, and then they got kids at the end and, and, and Cisco didn't get out. <laughs> he, was all like, he was all like Alright, uh, I'll see you next time. Hey, I ride that ship. I like, ride that Cisco and go to Glass. I ain't gonna, I ain't Sorry. gonna, I ain't gonna run. Hashtag CGG. Okay, that's what I'm gonna play. CGG, I like that. Hashtag CGG. Hashtag let's CGG. Run, let's run that, though. Because I ain't gonna find, I actually want them to get together. Mm -hmm. And I want her, I want him to go through nervous stuff with his yeah. powers and her, her to be like, to comfort him when he's yeah. weak and everything. And you kind of, you kind of go see how everyone else is looking like, are you sure it's Cisco? Right. And he's all like, I got this. I, I kind of, I, I, what I don't want them to do is turn her into a pure good guy. I want her to cat woman, Batman, this thing. Like kind of like she's always gonna be like that, and he's always, you know what I mean? Like they're always gonna have this thing going. I don't want him to fully be like that's my girl, but just to have that that thing, right? You know what I mean? Like for years or something. Like I kind of want. Oh, that. I, I don't know. I don't know about years. I rather see. Know? I rather see it sooner rather than later. But you know, what? I mean, don't get me wrong. I want him. To get, I want him to get the drop. Yes. I want him to get the booty butt cheeks. But at the same time, I don't want him to just be like that's my girl for sure. I'm like I got the booty butt cheeks, but I gotta do some shit. I gotta, I gotta save and the it, world. Like, and you know what I'm saying? And, like, and, and you see how she's like, okay, okay, do your hero thing. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but, um, I love Captain Cole. I love the, I love mm -hmm. the actor and everything else. And once I knew they were, I, knew, I was waiting for, but even the way they reintroduced me to the series was a little mm -hmm. bit unexpected. Because, you know, everything is leading up to Legends of Tomorrow. It is. Everything is. But you know what? It's, it, I, I'm really, because I, I know, I know you didn't, you didn't like, like the way that the story has been done in, in uh, Arrow. Because, you know, they're really trying to make it more like The Flash. But I, I, I want to say that I, I, I like the build up. I like all these new storylines they're tying in. Um, like they're doing a lot of like fun stuff, especially with uh, with Firestorm, with the uh, with the whole blue fire at the end. I know that's at the end. I know we kind of jumping the gun, but at the but, same time they're doing a lot of exciting stuff. But right also, now. I'm gonna say this. Um, I feel like I'm just gonna say this. I feel like the producers of the show watched our previous nerd talk with <laughs> Dark and Greedy versus Light and Witty, and yeah, heard a lot of my complaints yeah. about Flash because we're suddenly. Introducing very mature elements to the show, which were never brought up. That's true. Um, we bring it up, bring up the fact that nah, I was about to call Felicity. Um, Iris, bring up the fact that Iris' mom was a, was a drug addict and how she yeah. abandoned the family and how yeah. how you know Joe had to kind of go through that. And right. they weren't like banging you over the head. They, with yeah, it. they didn't bang you over the head, but I I, I, I kind of I don't. Again, it's one of those things where it's like. It, again, maybe it's just me, right? Okay. Maybe it's just me and my heritage, right? But why the black woman gotta be the crackhead? Like, I just, it just, it bothers me in my heart a little bit. Uh, it's it's kind of like, why, why, why does the, the strong, awesome black figure in the whole show that pretty much runs the show with yeah. acting and, and everything, and why his wife gotta be the crackhead? You know what? You know you what? Know? Part is, I will say this. The, the, the level and way they're introducing this doesn't feel like you're right. Just a, because I never thought you know what would feel real, really messed up mm -hmm. was if he was the drug addict or alcoholic like that. Back but in the, the day, but yeah. they they have a very natural family yeah. dynamic and the fact that he the fact that he had to go through the struggle and he had to be like look I don't know what to do I don't know how to tell her like that mm -hmm. and Barry had to bring be his hero moment his true hero moment without mm -hmm. powers but look just tell her and forget I felt like that was a true blue it was family blue. moment I'm, I'm, and it it, I mean, I'm, it transcended color it did it's 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 so they so it and it does transcend color but it, and, and, and maybe it's just me just being one of those guys that's kind of nitpicking because I, I hate to be that that racial nitpicker mm -hmm. but at the same time it's just like why she gotta be the crackhead just like I feel like I feel like anybody else could be the crackhead like I don't know it's but just see, but about, when you think about it who would be the crackhead you're right you're right there's nobody it was the perfect look listen you're right it's perfect the way they did it it didn't feel like it was color driven but at the same time it just felt like really just gonna tag the wag the, the most tragic and nastiest story to like the, the only black woman we've seen on the show. No, 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 no. Because Iris is, well, I'm about to say that. Yeah, also, yeah. speaking of very tacked on, yeah. I, I do not, and I, I do, I know a lot of guys always complain about how I, I just hate shippings and everything, <laughs> but I am not <laughs> for this Jay Garrick and Caitlyn Snow, like, getting together. You know what? I kind of, because I ain't gonna lie, I, 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 let's, let's be honest, homeboy got swag. He got swag. He does he's, not. He's coming up in there. He's coming up no, in there. He's confident. Up the confident. Do you know what his swag is? What is his his swag? swag is, out of everyone in the show, he's actually full for the best 
best looking male, no homo, no, on the show. I mean, yeah, that, that, I mean, don't get me wrong. Cause I, I'm not, I'm he, not talking about he, looks. This is no. He, he takes literally all the best part of all the other characters, and man, he has just enough tallness of the blackness. He has just enough skinniness <laughs> of Jerry. He has just enough <laughs> nerdiness from Cisco. Oh, wait, did you say the tallness of blackness? <laughs> <laughs> he has just enough tallness of blackness. <laughs> Why you gotta be that guy? I'm just, why like, you gotta be that guy? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not supporting that relationship. I want them to stay friends or at least colleagues and have like mutual respect for one another. I, I, I just I don't have. I, the only only thing I can say about it, she just feels it feels real. How can I Maybe. say? Like eh, it, it's like one of those things where you just had a girl that just lost her. Like first yeah. she lost, lost her fiance and then he came back and she lost him again. Then she going through all this trauma. And then she had this like small little fling with Barry that kind of like kind of yeah. Like in season in season one they had this like two or three episodes of them flirting with each other real hardcore. Oh, yeah. You thought something was gonna happen and it didn't happen. And now she's with this guy. She just kind of feels like the show slut a little bit. Ooh. Like yeah, I know. No, well, I know. First kind of like this, this, this is not Legends of Korra. Okay. I'm just you uh, uh, no. You can't. You can't. I thought Legends. I mean, I didn't feel like she was just, she was just gangster. That guy wanted because she was gangster. But, but then, but then also, was, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like. No, because I'm saying, with, with Caitlyn, with Caitlyn, first of all, Caitlyn doesn't get go out. I, you know what? I, I can easily see her going like, I want all the penises. So now I'm going to get these these frost powers, right? Look, I'm going to get these frost powers and I'm going to freeze all the penises and I'm going to get them for myself because you know she's going to be Killer Frost. So hashtag. I, <laughs> no. Killer Frost wants all the penises. No. Just, no, no, no. Okay. So move, moving past that, I was very, um, you know who I actually missed? And it feels kind of a little bit off without him there to add his dynamic. I miss Heat Wave. You know, because usually Captain Cold and Heat Wave had that thing going back yeah, and forth. Yeah, and it's very true. It's one of those things where I really feel like Heat Wave would have would have done wonders in this. And but they really want to focus on transcending him to like you know a kind of good guy to kind of fit into that. You know, right. that's and, what this was. And, he transitioned. And, and, and once again, he's always been pseudo kind of good guy because I like Barry said in the episode, you're a villain, but you have a code of honor, and we operate. You know, yeah, because he really is. It's one of those things where he just wants to do bad, but he don't want to kill people. And you no, know, no, no, no. He he doesn't want. He's not that he wants to do bad. He wants to do bad. Right, and you saw how with his dad always being off time, or always messing yeah. up, or always going to take the easy route, like I'm just going to pull a gun. You right. saw how he saw how he wanted to be better than his dad, even right. at being a criminal. So now that his dad's gone, right. I feel like the aspect of him that was feeding into that, like oh, falling for purpose, that that yeah. teen angst, right. is gone. So now you can soften up a little you bit. Know, I kind of I, I want to talk about I want to talk about like when when Barry got shot, because home his dad was just like, oh yeah, fine, he, he just shot him, right? I feel like what. Why didn't he dodge this bullet? And secondly, secondly, you know, why he got shot and he kind of went down, but then he comes right back up. I understand he heals fast. No, he didn't get shot though. He didn't do well. No, what, what, okay. I'm, I was actually Maybe gonna, did I miss it? I was actually gonna bring this up. Yeah, you did. Because you saw how he shot the bullet, but then Barry was looking like, oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. I caught it and I fell down. Cause you saw how, 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 how he had the bullet in his hand. I missed that part. Okay. okay. Well, also, let me bring that up. First of all, for out of all the times Barry has gotten snuffed in his face, okay? <laughs> Why is it that now all the time, I know my super reactions kick in? Cause there's been a lot of times when somebody just go, shut up, okay. Barry! That, that kind of just completely reverses what I just said. Yeah. Like, so he actually caught the bullet. Right, he, so, he, so he doesn't die as punches, but he dies as bullet. But yeah, exactly. But then also you just catch a bullet with your hand. Like, like, like. I mean, well, technically. With your bare hand. That wasn't I mean, even like, oh, it's hot or anything. He did learn how to throw lightning. I, I would think that he. I, you know, I, I guess, I guess that's one of those comic book logic. It is moments, a comic, it is a comic with, because now that I'm pro lightning, my speed is on a whole right, different level, right, and, right. and now I can control heat in my hands. But you know, I, I I still see him getting punched in, in future episodes. Oh yeah, but I still feel like a regular person is gonna be like, that. No, I, like, I, I, like, I, still, like, I still feel like if I was jumping in the show, I'd just go. Bah, 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 bah. He, would, he would go, oh, but then run around circles, and then you still like, you know what I mean? And, like, and then I'll just stick up my foot, everyone's just like this, and watch him trip and fall and go into. The but I don't, you know, this still it's still young Barry, so we can't hit on him. He's still chill, learning some stuff. Chilling up, but like, you know, also like, you know what? Let's talk about the very big plot twist where Harrison Wells has once again returned I'm, to the show. I'm actually excited for this. Not because, I'm be, first off, I don't know how they're going to sell this. I don't know. I don't like, put like this, because I know he comes from Earth 2. We know this for a fact. Mm. We know he's a good guy. We know he's a good guy. They did kind of have this thing where he looked like a bad guy, but we all know he's a good guy. Yeah. And, but I want to know how they're going to sell this hair, because I'm be honest with you. Harrison Wells was the best character on the show. He was the best mm. actor. He was the best character. Like, every time I, he spoke, I, still, I still give the best character and best actor to Joe, but I could be a little biased. Uh, only, only because he fits that that cop doctor role. I mean, that, that daddy role so well. That's like true. you know, he did this in other shows, so it kind of feels feels fits well. But with Harrison Well, he was like just unique. Like you didn't like him, but you like him. You didn't like him, but you like him. It's like, but like, no, you didn't like him, but you loved him. Like okay. you, he had to be on the show, but you kind of knew 
a bad guy, but it's the bad guy you smile at, not the bad guy you wish somebody would just shoot the face. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, and now that he's back, I wonder how they're gonna do it because now he don't have a motivation to like defeat Barry. Is he still gonna try to be a dad? Okay, okay. You know, no, okay. Here, you know? here's, here's what I think. Here's what I think. Technically speaking, the the Harrison Force that we all fell in love with and like that right. was the future of Earth One timeline, which is why when Eddie killed himself, that's why he was gone. But now that this is Harrison with Earth Two, he doesn't have that relationship anymore. And I kind of almost see him how he came in and he's still very much like almost a semi evil scientist, but he's not really evil. He's just that's just the way he is. And you see, because he doesn't have a relationship to Barry or motivation, he was like, I just happen to show up here with science and with a little bit of flash powers. But I have no connection to him. And you I gotta know. see how Barry and them have to. Learn Learn to accept the face of the man that they hate, but on a different person. Yeah, and and I I, I just I agree, and I just I just don't know how they're gonna do it. I just can't. Like it's one of those things where I'm really at. Uh, I just I have to wait to see. But you, but, know, but you know, know what? But you know what? It does make it does make you it does hook you in. It does. Know. It so, makes me wonder why I can't wait to watch the next episode just to see how Harry Sewell fits into that universe. True enough. True like enough. that's that's my main thing. So they they hooked me with that one. True enough. But also comment down below. Um, we wanna know what you guys think about the episode. Um, personally, out of all the possible relationships and current relationships and maybe even future relationships, who is your current relationship within the Flash Arrow verse? They're all connected. You know, and because I in the front, I still wish that Barry and Felicity got together. I'm, I'm still secretly hoping that somehow Eric, um, some Oliver um, messes up. I mean, Oliver, Oliver and Felicity feels more like a marriage, like a good marriage, and like, and I actually really like the relationship because it's not too lovey dovey, but it's definitely, it's, it's de and they don't play into it in the show. Like, oh, I love you. It's like a real relationship. Like, yo, we get down. You know, we we you know we love on each other. We fight crime, mm -hmm. and it's normal. We love, we live life together. It don't feel like I have to pause my life to love you. You know what I mean? Like, you know what they do? It's like, kind of, bro, kind of like the Cisco in Golden Glider, where it's like, kind of like everything pauses to show that affection, you know? But then it kind of goes back to normal. But, you know what I'm saying? But with them, it's just like normal. And I, I think I like that the most, but the most interesting is Cisco and Golden Glider. Like, That's true. The most interesting, the most, the most chemistry is built up. Right. So. And I want to go ahead and ask you guys out there a question. Um, with so many new nerd shows coming up, we have Walking Dead, we have Supergirl coming up, we have iZombie Flash, all these other nerd shows. Um, there's so many. Which one would you guys like? For us Why to review. You keep asking this question. No, because I want to know. I want to know what the. F I, I want to know what people want to want, want see. Okay, comment down below. Let us know what your favorite show is. I like all of them. I'm gonna watch all of them. All right. I'm a nerd. I watch every single show. I'm gonna watch every single show. And that, that's my answer. Every single show. But, Done. Whatever. Hey, Supergirl coming out, watching it, talking about it. That's just what I do. I just love it. Like this, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a huge ass nerd. It won't ever change. I'm but sure. I'm, I'm a sure. big black nerd. Believe that. My name is Lance Excalibur. I'm going to miss the nature. No, 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 no,